Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on the channel, which is on Lady McPillar, the next gen toe cap racer from Thailand. A brand new 2021 release in KC, alongside Jeff Gravett, who I reviewed previously. Link will be in the description down below. And again, Thailand really knocking it out of the park with these recent releases. Jeff was great, and now this guy looks pretty good as well. Uh, I haven't cracked him open yet, but just judging by how he looks in the package, this is going to be a hell of a review. But before we get into him himself, let's talk about his packaging. So he's on the typical 2021 desert card back, with his art featured prominently on the card back. And, well, I like his artwork. We haven't seen it before this release, so glad we finally see it. And like I said, pretty decent artwork. Not the worst artwork I've ever seen. That may go to Terry Cargus from 2019. I just didn't really like the way that expression looked. Moving on to the back of the packaging. And you can see a slew of Cars 3 releases. And pick crew member Fillmore and Kathy Copter for some reason. Both of whom are Cars 1 releases. How odd. But other than them, you have Dynaco, Cruz Ramirez, Taco, Jimbo, Pile up, and the main man himself, J.D. McPillar. Not pictured is Will Russ. As in, Will Russ to Target to try and find Will Russ. <laughs> Still have not found him yet. Once I do, expect a swift review on him. But, with that out of the way, let's crack J.D. open and take a look at him. Okay, here is J.D. all opened up and out of his packaging. Do I think this is the definitive end-all be-all version of J.D.? I'm not too sure about that. I mean, paint-wise, he definitely looks the part. But based on a mm, couple of other factors, mainly one, uh, I don't know if I like this one over the others too much. Um, but we will get into that in a bit. Because we have to start off with his appearance in Car 3. Which, speaking of, he appears in, you know, background of multiple races, uh, starting midway through the 2016 season, in which he replaces Zach DePost and appears throughout the movie until the Florida 500, which is the last race we see on screen. Uh, I'll put some pictures of him up next to him there. But yeah, as a background racer, he didn't have much screen time, but he did get a prominent release in the next gen 4 pack in late 2017, which propelled his claim to stardom throughout the community as many people sought after him and the other for a little bit until he got re-released in a multi-pack and then another one and now finally the single release he's been through all three countries and let's see how Thailand stacks up to the others so starting off things off at the front here he's got your typical next gen decal set of vents headlights and a grill and it looks all right uh you know standard typical stuff not much to talk about he's got a nice light blue splitter here which looks good and then moving on to the hood, he's got the toe cap logo, the simplified one from the next gen. Branding, of course, with toe cap written in all caps here, alongside the blue line here. Not much to talk about there, so let's move on to his expression real quick. This is the part I'm not too big of a fan of. They changed his expression and now he looks kind of bored. He just looks like he's not happy to be there. Which... Uh, I don't know, I like my next sense fierce and competitive more than bored. But that could just be me. Moving on to the roof here, and he's got a blue line going here, a lime line going here, another blue line going behind that one, and a black line going behind those two. And on the spoiler, he's got the toe cap logo in green with a black background, or dark blue background, my bad. And a yellow outline on the spoiler. He's also got window bars on his metal windows. And taking this moment to take a look at the paint color, he looks phenomenal. I love this metallic purple. It's blue. It looks great. That's my favorite part of this release, the color, easily. Moving on to the side, he has dark gray rims, which look pretty nice, actually. I know they're grainy like usual, but it makes them look kind of metallic. I like that. And he's got a lime outline around it, which looks pretty good. 
He's also got his Synergy sponsors, of course, which are the Pissing Up Combustor Carbon Cyber and Synergy. The Racing Number of Four, which goes into the paint scheme. I really like the way that goes. And a li the Lime line behind it, the blue and the black, just as I discussed on the roof. They're the same lines that go across the sides. He's also got a Lime line down here with the Pit Crew Zack Stan logo, the exhaust lens, and his gas cap back here with the toe cap logo. Now on its side, instead of going horizontally or uh, diagonally like the hood logo. Not much else to talk about on the side though, so let's move on to the rear of the vehicle where he's got his tail light bar, the toe cap logo on the right side in lime and blue, the four racing number on his left side, and rookie stripes in dark yellow. Moving on to the right side, it is the same as the left, except that the 4 is facing the other way now. And like the right left side, it looks pretty good. But how does he compare with China and Vietnam? Well, going by color and by accuracy, Thailand easily wins this one. With metallic purple being, in my opinion, the closest to his movie coloration that we've seen. Sina started out with this blue, a little tiny bit of purple color, and it looks okay, but it wasn't anything to write home about. And then Vietnam won up Sina with their purple color, purplish blue, which looked pretty good. And then Thailand won up them with a metallic version of that color. But is that enough to win it? Well, I don't know. Because other factor number one is the expression. I've already talked about how I don't like how he looks bored here. Well, Vietnam wasn't too much better. It was a little higher on the eyebrow, but other than that, it looked kind of the same. China, however, had the typical determined looking forward expression. And, well, I like the China expression more, honestly. I like my next sentence looking a little more fierce. And the other factor is the spoiler. So obviously the China version doesn't have window bars because it's the 2017 version. And the Vietnam version does, but they're not painted. However, the spoiler is a little different. From Thailand, it does have the dark blue background. However, it is printed on and the spoiler itself is yellow plastic. Or lime colored plastic. Whereas on the China version, it is painted all the way around. Also, the uh, decal colors are a bit more vibrant. So, is this a clear win for Thailand? Not really. I feel like any of the versions have their own quirks. China has the brighter decal colors and uh, better painted spoiler and better expression. However, the actual paint color is kind of bland. Vietnam has a better paint color and a slightly better expression, or about the same expression as China. A painted spoiler, however the decal colors are the same as Thailand, which has a kick-ass paint color. However, the expression is kind of boring, and the spoiler is not painted fully. So, yeah, overall, this guy is not bad. Not bad at all. But, I don't think he's the definitive J.D. McPillar. That's just my own thoughts, though. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And with that said, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!